What's going on guys? Welcome to your 11th game development tutorial um, with Java applets. What we're going to do in today's tutorial is just set up again some things within our ball class. And As you guys might have noticed right here, I've set all my variables to be private. This is a common practice you want to do in any sort of development. Generally in my tutorials I kind of just type out you know like a double DX and then um, and you know set it equal to zero but in general you want to set uh, most of your variables to be private if you can um, that way you won't mess up some of these variables in a different class um, such as our platform class we had a X and a Y and a DX value as well so when we're coding we might mess up a different value than the value we're actually trying to mess up so after you guys change all these variables to be private what we do want is a way for our other classes to have access to these variables to see what they are, uh, see what they currently are, and see if we want to change them um, or anything. Uh, for example, what we're going to be checking pretty soon is if our ball is within the coordinates of our platform. If it is, we're going to you know make our ball bounce back up instead of going straight through the platform. So a little bit of collision uh, detection there. Um, so how we're going to do this is uh, by getting and setting methods that just return the values um, or set the values. Um, and I mean this is a common practice you use a lot in developing. It's so common in fact that you can just hit control space and then type out git um, x and uh, it already will have a method that, we, that will return the x value for us, again our x variable. Um, and then we can also, you know, make sure we do the set method as well. So we're going to say set x, and it takes an integer within the parameter, and all it's going to do is set our current x to whatever is being passed in. So we're just going to set up some of these uh, general methods here. So again, just control space and uh, get y, um, control space, uh, set y. So this, again, is just a way for other classes to... Um, either find out the information of where the current y and the current x is or um, it can even set the current x and current y if we want. Uh, maybe within the ball class we don't even want anything else to set the x and y um, but you know we're just gonna throw them in there for purpose of the tutorial. Um, so let's just uh, throw in a public, oops, let's throw in also our dx Um, get dx and uh, get dy set dx uh, set dy I mean we could pretty much do it for each variable if we wanted but I just want to show you a few um, again we could just do it for energy loss as well um, pretty much any variable that we want and it's pretty simple to set up uh, maybe get gravity it would be a good one to have and also set gravity um, because later we might change the gravity of our game and uh, might be easier or harder depending on if the graphics um, or I'm sorry if the gravity is higher or lower so those are that's pretty much it for this tutorial I mean it's pretty lame but um, again, this way um, we can access these variables from different classes, and I'll show you how this is done when we need to use it. But uh, yeah, just set up some gets and some sets, and it will either return the variable um, wherever we're calling these methods, or it will set the variable of our ball class. So I know it's a pretty lame tutorial, but uh, good, uh, useful thing to know when you're programming. So hope you, hope you guys kind of enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.